Hey everyone, New England Gardening here. I just got back from the local garden center and I bought a couple of products here and I'm getting ready to do battle uh, with some of the problems that you can uh, end up with with fruit trees and the critters that are going to try to attack them this spring. Uh, one of the concerns I have or one of the problems uh, I have that I'm going to try to solve is this Bartlett pear tree here and I'll show you in a minute uh, some of the problems that it's showing. I thought it just had canker and I was thinking just completely removing the tree. But uh, there's another indication that there's a, a worm boring underneath this uh, bark here. So here's the area that I'm uh, concerned about here. It's obviously showing there's a problem. And uh, you can see it looks like it's trying to heal. Uh, I had canker on some cherry trees too, and they tended to bleed uh, sap heavily uh, in the damaged area. So I'm looking at this, and I'm not sure if it's canker or not, because I, there's not that telltale sign of the bleed uh, from uh, the sap. But I'm trying to I'm trying to think if I recall higher up here uh, what I'm seeing below. Now, if you look here, you can see it, it almost looks like the tracks from something underneath. Something's boring in here. And uh, so that's, that's an indication that there's some worm boring into the bark on this tree. So uh, whether or not, you know, uh, uh, I can't recall if something bored into the bark here, and then this is just trying to heal. So I was going to try to cut this out and then seal it with something, but maybe I'll leave it alone and just see what happens with this systemic product that I have. But this is a pretty long gash here, pretty pretty long uh, wound that it's trying to heal. So uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll just give it a shot with this systemic product and we'll see what, what happens. If you can see that there. From here. And this, whatever's going on here could be happening uh, on the roots too. And I just noticed this here also. I thought this was just a stain from something, but it looks like uh, that's a track also. Something going on underneath. Or into this tree, and it might even be affecting the roots, so that's maybe why it's not anchoring too well into the ground here. But another problem that we're going to have, uh, and uh, the, the word is that they're already starting to hatch, is that's winter moth. Winter moth up here in New England, they're that little green worm that flies around on silk threads and they can go from higher elevations and they just float. The wind carries them on these threads and they can go from one tree to another tree. So you have to repeat and um, I know from first hand that they can shred the new growth on my peach trees overnight. Uh, I was frantically trying to squish them last year. Uh, so I've got uh, some uh, organic sprays for that. Uh, I'm going to take care of, I'm going to try to treat this pear tree with a systemic uh, a chemical. So I won't be eating any pears off of this tree. Uh, this will uh, go in throughout the tree, uh, absorb through the roots, and hopefully that'll uh, kill whatever is attacking this Bartlett pear tree. Uh, I also did pick up a pyrethrus uh, uh, product that is going to help me with the, the white flies that some people suggested I try. So uh, I'm going to give that a try, but um, you know, uh, so there's three products here, one for the, the systemic product for uh, the Bartlett pear tree, uh, and another one for the white fly and my citrus, and another product for dealing with those winter moth. So uh, I'm getting ready to do battle, unfortunately we're going to have some heavy rains tomorrow, so I'll wait until it dries a little bit, but yeah, the winter moth, I guess the uh, word is they're already Pairing, so uh, I want to make sure I tackle that. And it's a good idea to make sure to uh, spray uh, before the buds break. You know, when the buds break and you start getting the flowers on your fruit, fruit trees, you don't want to be killing uh, the pollinating insects that are out there, the benef beneficial insects. So the buds look like they're just about breaking. We get some good warm days ahead and uh, they're going to start opening up. So now's the time to get in uh, sprays of uh, dormancy oils too, which during the winter time, they smother the eggs. Any eggs that are laid uh, on the tree in the fall, the dormancy oil will smother those. 
So yeah, getting ready to do battle and now's the time. So this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.